It is great to be back. Back again. For another postseason. And My very own ring. There we go. My very own ring. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do return. Let's do it for the age. This towel is back for the first time since last year. It's been a while since I had this towel too. But let the postseason begin. Yo, what's up, everybody? It is your boy Total Kid here. Yes, you heard that right. Total Kid, I return. And today, I'm going to be doing my prediction for the 2024 MLB postseason. That's right. Last year was a fluke, because the I got most of them wrong. I have the twin, I have the Rays winning that game over the over the Rangers, and I got that one wrong. I would have picked the Rangers though. Then I got the Blue Jays winning that game against the Twins, and then I also got that wrong. Uh, and the Twins won that one. I also got the Brewers winning that one, beating the um who was the who was the team? Uh, D-backs. I also got that one too. And then uh, I'm pretty sure that was about it. I think I got the Marlins one that game against the Phillies, and I also got that one too. So, yeah. So a bit of mis misfortune, uh, mis mis misfortune, mis misfortune. Can't even speak that word. I can't even speak that word. Pronounce that word at least. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Uh, anyway, um, what was I saying? Um, tell you. So today, I'm gonna be doing my prediction for the 2024 MLB postseason. And here are the following contenders that we have here. So, uh, there are six contenders in the East, I mean, in the AO, six in the West, I mean, on the NO. The following teams that are in the AO, six teams in the AO. We got the New York Stankies, or the Tankies. Number two is the Cleveland Guardians. Number three is me, Total Kid. And my Astros, that's the leader of the Astros. But we got that as number three. Four is the O's, the Orioles, a.k.a. Curtis Wagner and the Orioles. That dude is back. That dude came back after his, his heartbreaking sweep from the Texas Rangers. Five is the Kansas City Royals. And finally, number six is... The Detroit Tigers. Yes, the Tigers. They're back. Same thing with the Royals. They're back as well. Then we got the Anna, which includes the Mickey Mouse Dodgers as number one. Number two is the Phillies. Phillies have now claimed number two. Three is the Milwaukee Brewers. They're back again since last year. Four is the Padres. The San Diego or Florida Drays, that's what Dodgers fans hate. Dodgers fans hate Padres, so once they meet them again, we shall see. Padres, five is the Atlanta Braves. It used to be uh, D-backs, but they're, not, they're, not, they're, not, they're no more anymore. Uh, five is the Braves, and six is the New York Mets. The Mets are back in the postseason. Now, there are three teams, there are three contenders that were in the chase for the, um, for the postseason. One was the, the Braves, of course. The second one was the Mets. And three was the uh, D-backs. How did it turn out, though? There was supposed to be some sweeps here. If, if Braves sweep them, Mets are finished, and the D-backs are in, and the Braves are in. If the... Mets win two games, which I did say I won, which I did, I did want them to win too. Uh, give me a second. Uh, okay, I'm just checking to see my my uh, 
Bones better be there. But anyway, uh, if the Mets sweep them and sweep the Braves, which I asked them to, then of course the Braves will be done, and the D-backs will be in, and the Mets will be in. So, but if they if they split the series, the both will be in, but the D-backs are headed to Cancun, which they are right now, because at the moment right now. The D-backs are no longer in the postseason anymore. The, the D-backs are eliminated from the content from the postseason contention. So, uh, D-backs fans, you had a great run, but um, you uh, uh, didn't get the New York sweep against uh, Atlanta. So, so that sucks for you though. You are now eliminated from the playoff contention. So, so Mets are in and Bla the Braves are in. So the NL um, contenders are locked in. The AL, the AL contenders are already locked in already. So yeah. So well, let's get started. And here are the contenders or at least the, uh, the wild card game for or who will be playing for in the American League wildcard and who gets the buys for the divisional round. Let's do it. So first off, we have the Tigers taking on the Astros. And then we got the Royals taking on the O's. And the bye weeks are the, the Stinkies and the Guardians. Then we got the Then we got the Mets taking on the Milwaukee Brewers. <laughs> and then finally, the Braves taking on the San Diego Padres. And the following teams that uh, cleanse the buys are the Dodgers or the Mickey Mouse Dodgers and the Phillies. <laughs> now, before I can start with this prediction, let's see what uh, how they did so far. So, Yankees... They came back after being eliminated from the postseason. They were, I think they were last place. They used to be last place, but now they're in third place. So they suck, though. Uh, but they're back since uh, 2022. After we swept them, of course. Guardians are back since 2022. They were this close for last year, but they couldn't uh, get that much. But, uh, yeah, but the Guardians are back since 2022. Of course, my Astros are contenders, and we are... As what I call myself, I am inevitable. But yeah, that's for the Astros, more well, my Astros, or oh, me, total kid. So, of course, we're still known to be best as the, as playoff, or actually, no, World Series bound. Uh, O's return since, yes, since last year. Uh, they were, uh, I think they were in the first round by and we, and, uh, clinching the first seed until they got swept by the Rangers, but they're back again, they're back to back, but, uh, well, they won the division last year, but this year they don't, all the stupid stinkies did. Royals, for the first time since 2015, since winning the World Series in, 20, in 2015, the Royals are back in the postseason, they're back since 2015 in the... World Series after defeating the Mets. And speaking of World Series, the Tigers. Tigers, fan, Tigers fans out there for, for the last 10 years. Uh, you've been, um, you are now back in the postseason. You're back in the postseason for the first time since 10 years. Since uh, the 2012 World Series after losing to the San Francisco, the San Francisco Giants. So, yeah, so the Tigers returns to the postseason. Since uh, 2012, same thing with the Royals. They're back in the postseason since 2015. And that team won the World Series. Unfortunately for the Tigers, they did not. Then we got the NL, which of course we got the Mickey Mouse. Then we got the Phillies for the first time in uh, since 2011. They uh, clinched the NL East. And finally dethrone the Braves for good. Well, not for good, but as long as if the Braves somehow manage to uh, keep getting wins next year, then probably so. Because uh, without Acuna Jr., 
there's a chance that they will uh, they won't win the division. But uh, the Phillies are now known as the number two seed, and they are NLH champions for the first time since two thousand eleven. And uh, then they get the first one, the sec the second one by for the first time as well. <laughs> then we got the Milwaukee Brewers. The Mark the Brewers are back to back NL Central champions, and they are re they return to the postseason since t since last year after losing to the D backs last year. Uh, fourth seed is the Padres. The Padres return since last year. Oh no, not last year. Excuse me. Uh, the Padres returned since two years ago in uh, 2022 after losing to the Phillies in the National or the NLCS after beating the Dodgers, of course. Five is the is the Braves. No no respect for the Braves because the Braves are just trash and they always get first one access most of the time. And finally, the New York Mets. They're back since 2022 after losing to, of course, the Padres because they, they both uh, met each other and... Um, Padres won by three, so they the Padres won game one. Mets returned the favor in game two, and then they turn this they turn the favor for the for the Padres, and win the series there by three games before heading to uh, L.A. to take on the Dodgers and that rivalry match as well. So by looking at this by looking at this postseason picture. It feels like we have uh, 2022 and in some cases 2023 combined. If if it is 2023, I don't think it is, because uh, it used to be the D backs and and Brewers. They would have been uh, if I don't, if the D backs would have been uh, here, they would have played with the Brewers and it would be uh, it would be uh, what was it? Uh, 2023 and 2022 combined, but not anymore. It's is now uh, we to 2022 now. Which is why this this is this prediction might be true. <clears throat> so, without further ado, we already got that set up. We already got the, the contenders in. Let's get started with the prediction, shall we? We'll start off with the wild card matchup real quick. We're starting off with the AL, which first start off with the Tigers and the Astros, or me, Tigers versus me, Total Kid, and I am gonna be facing Detroit at home. For the best of three in the AO World Cup series. Now the Tigers, I'm not sure what the players have, but they've been very really good so far. Well, not so far, but they've been very really decent so far. But Tigers fans are very really happy that they clinched the playoffs, though, or the postseason, though. But unfortunately for Tigers fans, they're gonna need to keep that drought going because, as me, the inevitable total kid here. <laughs> I am going to be winning this series by two games and going to be facing Cleveland Guardians again. We're going to be facing them in the rematch of the series finale or season finale of the uh, of the uh, MLB game 160 and 62. 160 and 162, yeah. But yeah, so Astros wins in two and will be facing the Cleveland Guardians in the ARDS in the next round. Which means it's going to be another rematch of the, uh, of the, uh, of the, same, the same story. And we're going to continue this game here after that rain delayed. Uh, well, after that, that, after that cancellation from the rain uh, in game three. So we're gonna continue that series from now. Next up, we have the Orioles and the Royals. The Orioles, oh, Roy, Royals, Roy, Royals. I'm trying to make a combination by the names of Royals and Orioles. <laughs> now, I'm not sure whether the Blue Jays. I mean, I'm not sure what the the Warriors have, but I'm pretty sure they have Bobby Wood Jr., which is an absolute stud right now, or which is an absolute stud at this point. So, but they're known as a number three seed, or number excuse me, uh, number five seed. I have a feeling that the Orioles could be able to win this series way too, but this is a tough one. I'm pretty sure the Warriors are pretty hard so far, but I might I might have to take the Orioles for this one. I might have to take the underdog and take the Orioles to win this one to take on the Yankees. 
So I have them winning by two. So it'll be Astros and Guardians and the Royals and Yankees or Stinkies. <laughs> then we get to the wild card spot or in uh, the NL. First, we got the back-to-back -back NL Central champions, Milwaukee Brewers taking on the six-seed New York Mets. Now, I have a feeling that the Mets will take care of this one in uh, two games, probably like three games. I might have a feeling they might take three games for this one. I might, I might take the Mets in three games, probably because of Francisco Lindor, the, the madman right here. So, I might have to take that. I might have to take the underdog here, even though they they are the three seed for the Brewers. Um, they did they they they, they did lose in the series last last year. They might have to do it again because uh, I don't think they're gonna advance anymore. Or well, I don't think they're gonna go any further for the Brewers. So I take the Mets by three, and we'll be facing the Philadelphia Phillies in the next game, next round. I mean, <laughs> then finally in the wild card spot we have. The Braves and the Padres in San Diego. I got the Padres by three. I'm, I'm going to be having the 2022 series again. And I have the Padres winning by three. And we'll be facing the Braves. I mean, and we'll be facing the Dodgers for a rematch of the 2022 NLDS. Where the Dodgers got choked again. And... um. And the Dodgers fans are trying to get revenge after that two-year, the two-year uh, embarrassment loss from the from the Dodgers after losing to the Padres in the series. <laughs> so, once again, the a ARDS uh, prediction right here is Astros and Guardians, Warriors and Yankees, Mets and Phillies. A rematch of the uh, London game. And finally, the Padres and Dodgers, a rematch of the 2022 NLDS. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we got that taken care of. Now, we get the division rounds. First up, we have the Astros and Guardians. What did I say I have? Oh, yeah. So, it's a rematch of the game from the season finale. Where we uh, took the series by two games. We would have got three games, but uh, after the rain delay, it's now uh, known for two games to go. Two, two and oh. But the series still continues on as we are playing this game in Progressive Field. So, yeah. So, we're going to be continuing the series there in Progressive Field. And the Astros will be winning this game in four. Astros... We'll be winning this game in four, three games to one, as the Astros will be advancing to the ALCS, the eighth consecutive ALCS appearance in MLB history. That's right. We'll be known for the eighth consecutive appearance in the ALCS. That's right. And I, Total Kid, will be... Uh, Announcing that as well once we hit that once we hit the eighth consecutive streak But Astros or me I will be going to the ALCS winning this game in four Next up we have the Royals and oh boy Royals and Stinkies now remember the Royals is known to be the five seed. Yankees are really, really, really hard. I mean, I don't know how, but they got Juan Soto. They got Aaron Judge. They got Anthony Rizzo. I don't even know who they, I don't know who they else, who else they got. But I'm person there might be some other teams that got traded. Some of them might be retired. Some of them might be uh, free agents. But uh, at this point on, uh, they're still a rising hard beasts. And people say they're also known as uh, World Series contenders. Or at least, as what people say, World Series bound. Which I find that unlikely. But unfortunately for Warriors fans, of course. <clears throat> unfortunately for Warriors fans, uh, I might have to go for the Yankees. And I might have to take them winning this game in five. I have the Yankees winning this game in five games. In five games, Yankees take that take the series in 
three games to two and will be taking on me for the fifth time in a row. And things will get ugly. Things will get really, really ugly once we once we both face each other. It's Astros and Yankees round of five. This is the fifth time in a row. It's 2015. Got them by one. 20, 2017. Got them twice. 2019. Got them three times in a row. And 2022. Four in a row. Even. Not only that. But we even swept them as well. And I can feel. I can feel and I can hear. The chanting. I can I can already hear at this point on like at this point on trying to hook up this thing right now but um once the Yankees and Astros game hits uh kicks in for the fifth time in a row boy boy oh boy Thanks for get the turnaround. And the problem about that, if you know Tyler Sports, you know that he is actually a Yankees fan. I have no idea how he how why he is a Yankees fan, but uh apparently he is. So yeah. So I ain't kidding. That dude is actually a Yankees fan. I'm surprised he didn't even say we won Houston. Oh, well, speaking of which, um Speaking of speaking of that, I might have I might have said it already. But I can feel that um, it can actually happen. So I can hear the sound of how the Yankees fans are going to be like. (sighs) I hope they don't do it again. Because they're going to... They're gonna have to double think that. Moving on, we'll take care of the ARC as a new level. Next up, we have the Mets and Phillies. The Phillies are an extreme powerhouse, which still known for filthy Phillies or fraudulent Phillies at this point because the Phillies are known to be uh, known for sucking at this point. They did lose to the NLCS last year. Uh, against the D-backs and of course lose to the World Series to me to get that second ring uh, in five years and uh, now we have the Phillies back again for the third time in a row and I do have the Phillies winning that game also by four yeah So I have the Phillies winning this game in four games, three games to one, and they will be moving on to the NLCS. Yep. So, yeah, I have the Yankees, no, excuse me. I have the Phillies winning this game by four games, and they will be moving on to the NLCS. Oh, man. Excuse me. All right, so yeah, I have the Phillies winning this game, and they are moving on to the NLCS. <laughs> Next up, we have the Dodgers and Padres, a rematch of the 2022 NLDS. Padres took four games last, uh, two years ago and uh, took the trash uh, took the trash talking against Dodgers fans and took the first round exit once again. So, yeah, Dodgers fans were not even trying at this point. Actually, the Mickey Mouse Dodgers were not even trying. Because they lost, I think they lost 12 in a row. 12 in a row. They lost in the uh, NLCS, then they lost in the NLDS. And uh, I'm pretty sure they lost in the wild card spot, but I don't think so. They must have won that one. But all I know is they lost in the NLCS and the DS. And I can feel that this game might go for a turnaround as well. And this might happen again. Padres fans, I hope you're happy. But I have your Padres winning this game. Actually, wait a minute. Curtis Wagner is also a Padre. 
That actually reminds me. So, not only that Curtis Wagner is also, is a Oreo fan, he is also a Padre fan. So, Car- Curtis Wagner, I have your Padres winning this game by four. Three, three games are by four, except one. One is five games. So, yeah. So, Padres are returning back to the world. No, not, not to the world, excuse me. They're going to return back to the NSCS to get revenge after the two years ago. <laughs> so, Dodgers are known to be first one exits and known to be chokesters. And they are going to be having another first one exit. So, Padres moves on to the National League Championship Series to face the Phillies. And this is where the A this is where the twenty twenty two kicks in. We got Astros and Yankees, Phillies and Padres. Rematch of twenty twenty two postseason. First we got the Astros and Yankees. Astros and Yankees. Yep. And four times in a row. It's been four times this year. Four times in a row that we've been owning this Yankees team for the past, how long was that? How long was it? Like more than five years, I think. Now I'm going to be having them at least five in a row now. And it doesn't matter if they have Juan Soto, Aaron Judge, or whoever wants that they have in this Yankees, in this Yankees team. The Astros are known to be the Yankees' fathers because the the Astros are the Yankees are the Yankees' daddies. Because the Astros, I may have I may have uh, switched up because that might be that might be so wrong for me. I may have said it in the wrong direction, but the Astros have Altuve and Alvarez, those two those two fathers that owns the Yankees. Uh, Franchise, and with that, with that being said, Yankees fans, don't matter if you try to beat me, it don't matter, because in five games, I have me going back to the World Series since twenty twenty two, and returning back to the World Series, so. Suck it, Yankees fans or Stinkies fans, because your drought continues on. I am going back to the World Series. And become the 2024 American League champions. So, suck it, go to Cancun, losers. And now finally with the NLCS, Padres and Phillies. This is a rematch of the, the two years ago, 2022 NLCS. And they won that game, I think, by five games or something, six games. And, um, yeah, obviously, the Padres are trying to get revenge after the, the two years ago. But, as with the numbers go, Phillies are the Padres' daddies. So, Pod- Phillies will be winning this one. I'm going to be having them. In five games. I'm going to be having them in five games. Four games to one. Same thing with the uh, the Astros. Four games to one as well. And this is where the the, the rematch continues. This is where the, the rematch gets up. Astros, Phillies. Astros and Phillies in the 2024 World Series. Two years ago. It was Alvarez. Who made that insane home run last year or two years ago? And and the Phillies, well, the Phillies are trying to find another way to get me again till we can't until we gain the the trophy. He even said someone in the Phillies uh, team. He did say that he won. He said I won. He said quote. I won my freaking trophy back. And this is what it comes down to the World Series. As we have Astros and Phillies in the 2024 World Series. With that quote saying, 
they might need to find another trophy some other time. Because <laughs> they might have to find another trophy some other time. Because me, total kid, I am gonna be the 2024 World Series champions and returning back that trophy back to the H and have our three World Series titles in how many years now? Seven years, eight years, seven years. Actually, no. Three time World Series in the last eight years. That's right. The Astros are, are more inevitable than ever. That's why I am more inevitable than ever than I will ever be. That's right. So that is my prediction right there. How many games do you may ask? Same thing with that with two years ago. Six games. I have myself winning those ones in six games. And I have a feeling that they, we might face them in Philadelphia. So in game one, we might face them in Philadelphia. It's going to be a turnaround. But we can still win this World Series. So that's my prediction right there. Me, I am going to be winning this World Series and reclaiming this World Series title. So that is about it. That is my prediction for the 2024 World Series. The Astros are going to be the 2024 World Series champions. And I will be having my parade inside my city once again. So that's about it though. That's my prediction right there. Let me know who you got winning the World Series. And uh, yeah. And if you're the original fan, like the Yankees fans out there or Dodgers fans, cry yourself to Cancun because you ain't gonna win. A, you're gonna you ain't gonna win a World Series. Uh, you're gonna be in, you're just gonna be in Cancun like everybody like everyone else, like the D-backs out there and Mariners and Rangers. But yeah, that's what I know. Um, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Well, like I said, um, let me know who you got winning the World Series. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, guys, and I'll see you. In the wild card spot as we take on the Tigers. Peace out. I can subscribe. And yeah. Bye bye. Oh, and let's go, Astros. Bye bye. Oh, wish me luck. Everybody in the comments say, wish me luck. Because I'll be facing the Tigers. This team that hasn't been in the, the, play, the playoffs since 10 years ago. So, wish me luck. Hopefully, we win these two games. Bye bye.